what's up youtube welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how i was able to grow a 40 dollars account to what is currently 433 dollars let me now close these open positions first and go get some biscuits for my daughter meanwhile let me introduce you to chat prime Chat Prime provides unique trading indicators that automate a trader's job on technical analysis. They have a plethora of tools that make trader's job easy, especially on technical analysis like automatic pattern detection and so on. For more details, please do click the links in the description below. Guys and girls, there are just 10 rules of trading discipline which I did follow for a month and they are the ones which made it possible for me to grow this account in just a month. It is my hope that if you too listen and follow them sincerely, you will also make it in trading. Rule number 1. Never turn a winner into a loser. I'm sure we have all violated this rule. However, it should be our goal to try harder not to violate this rule in the future. What we are really talking about here is the greed factor. The market has rewarded you by moving in the direction of your position. However, you are not satisfied with a small winner. Thus, you hold on to the trade in hopes of a larger gain only to watch the market turn and move against you. Don't be greedy. Rule number 2. Your biggest loser shouldn't exceed your biggest winner. Keep a trade log of all of your trades throughout the session. If for example you know that so far your biggest winner on the day is just 100 pips, then do not allow a losing trade to exit those 100 pips. If you do allow a loss to exit your biggest gain, then effectively what you have done is when you net out the biggest winner and the biggest loss is a net loss on the true trades and that's not good. Rule number 3. Always lower your trade size when you are trading poorly. Now all good traders follow this rule. If I have two losing trades in a row for example, I always lower my trade size down to a one lot. If my next two trades are profitable, then I move back my trade size to the original lot size. Rule number 4. The first loss is the best loss. Once you come to realization that your trade is no good, it's best to exit immediately. It's never a loser until you actually get out. And not to worry, it will come back are often words said uh, tongue in check by traders in the pit. Once the phrase is stated, it is an affirmation that the trader realizes that the trade is no good and it's not coming back and it's time to exit. Rule number five, don't overanalyze, don't procrastinate, don't hesitate. If you do, you will lose. Now, I can't tell you how many traders have come into my telegram inbox terribly depressed because they knew the market was going one way or another, however, they failed to put a position on. When I ask them, why did you not put the trade on, the responses are always the same. They did not want to chase the market, they were waiting to be filled at the absolute best possible price and never get filled. The net result of all this procrastination and hesitation is that the trader was correct in deducing the market direction, but his profit on the trade was complete zero. We don't get paid in this business unless we actually put the trade on. So don't overanalyze the trade, just press the trade and then manage it. If you're wrong, get out, but you'll never be right unless you actually make the trade. Rule number six. You always want to be able to come back and pray the next day. Never put yourself in a precarious position of losing more money than you can afford to lose. The worst feeling in the world is wanting to trade and not be able to trade because the equity in your account is too low. And your brokerage firm will not allow you to continue unless you submit more funds. I require my students to press daily downside limits on their performance. For example, if your daily loss limit can exit $200, once you reach the $200 loss limit, you must turn off your computer and call it a day. You can always come back tomorrow. Rule number 7. Get out of your losers. You are not a loser because you have a losing trade on. However, you are a loser if you don't get out of the losing trade once you recognize that the trade is no good. Every trader has losing trades throughout the session. Even I, I do have my losing strikes. Rule number eight, be yourself. Don't try to be someone else. 
in all of my years as a trader i have never traded more than 0.9 lot size on volatility 75 index sure i would have liked to be able to trade like some colleges in the pit who are liberally trading use such huge lot sizes on indices however i did not possess the emotional or psychological skill set necessary to trade such a big size and that's okay I knew that my comfort zone was somewhere between 0.001 and 0.003 lots per trade uh, using volatility 75 index as a reference here. You are who you are. Don't compare yourself to other traders, period. Rule number 9. Earn the right to trade bigger. Too many new traders think that because they have let's say 25,000 equity in their trading account that they somehow have the right to trade with bigger lot sizes. This can't not be further from the truth. If you can't trade a lot size of 0.01 successfully, what makes you think that you have the right to trade uh, with a 10.00 10, uh, 10 lot size? Rule number 10. Now this is my best rule. The market pays you to be disciplined. Trading with discipline will put more money in your pocket and take less money out. The one constant truth concerning market is that discipline equals to increased profits. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to join my VVIP mentorship services or a paid signal page, please do click the link in the description for details. Now please take this time to click the like button, then hit that subscribe button without forgetting to turn the notification bell icon on. Thank you for watching and bye.